Yo, 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 what's good, YouTube, man? It's your boy Praxis, and I'm back with another video. And in this one here, I'm glad that I'm going against a Nigel Ben instead of it being a Roy Jones Jr. mirror match. I'm going to teach you guys how you are properly supposed to play. Hold on, let me turn my light on. Y'all can't see me that good. Uh, you could probably still see me good. But I'm going to teach you guys how you should properly be playing Undisputed. This isn't a game where you can just, like UFC, you can't play Undisputed like UFC and have success. You can't just think you can just walk forward, throw combinations, pop, pop, and win. You, you'll win, but once you reach a certain level of players, you're going to start losing. All right? So I'm going to show you guys, break this thing down, and we're going to get right into it. So first things first, you want to utilize more than just Oh, nice. You want to utilize more than just throwing combinations, throwing punches. You want to utilize footwork. Roy Jones Jr. is a master at that, right? And you want to pick your shots, right? Okay, so as you can see here, I have a great, very aggressive opponent that is just walking forward, throwing a lot of one-twos, right? So with that being said, I know I need to just play careful, pick my shots, and my opportunities will be there, okay? Boom, nice counter. I'm going to plant my feet, wait on him. I know he's throwing a lot of jabs and crosses. So I just take my head off the center line. And then I would adjust and attack from there. Nice. Nice. All right, see? Nice. And he's doing, you see that right there? He's throwing a lot of jab crosses. He's throwing a lot of power crosses as well. Okay. Okay. And you can see now he's leaning. When you're playing somebody that's leaning, you just attack the body. Nice, nice. See right there? This is the type of opponent that I would just pick apart. He may get some shots in, but I'm just going to pick him apart. I'm going to have my opportunities. Notice he's leaning back. I'm not blocking. I'm walking out of the pocket with my hands down because it makes me walk faster. If I was to be playing loose footwork, I would be moving even faster. But I'm playing it like a boxer versus playing it like a like a brawler or like playing it like UFC 4. You cannot play this game like EA Sports UFC 4. Okay, I'm leaning back. I know I can get out of the way of those jabs and those crosses. As long as I'm not too close in the pocket, I can always lean back. We're going to attack the body here. He throws a power jab. And everything he's throwing is with power. As you can see there, there you go, there you go, and um, with him playing like this, I just think my opportunities are gonna be on the way, and when I do, they do, I'm just gonna take full advantage of them. I'm gonna get the a lot of opportunities to rock this guy, and possibly get him up out of there. So as you see, he walks forward again. Okay, pop with a nice jab. We're gonna get out of there. Okay. I'm just playing boxing. I'm not even, I haven't even started using loose footwork because I don't feel like I need it. Okay. There we go. There we go. And you can see he just don't just throwing one twos. Just throwing one twos. And this is really how you want to deal with a spammer. Boom. One two. I mean cross by lead hook. Basically the two three. There we go. There we go. We get off the center line. That right there is going, could be key for you as well. The check left hook. Right there. But I'm just playing boxing. I'm not going to be a brawler with you. I'm going to pump my jab. As you can see here, I'm popping him with the jab right now. Boom. Hit him with a counter shot. We're going to circle out. Hit him with a cross follow by jab. And we just catch him coming forward with the jab. That's what, that's where our intents are. It's catch him with the jab coming forward right now. There we go. Nice jab again. We're going to go to the body. We can also look for counter shots. Boom. Counter shot up top followed by going to the body. Cross. I evaded his rear hand punch by basically walking to the opposite side of it, playing with angles. And I can do that a lot against this guy. He's easy he throws. Now, he threw like three power shots in a row. So I went ahead and tried to take advantage. Okay. Nice. Good round. Good round. Now, 
let's see what 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 other things could we possibly be doing here we could obviously be looking to use our loose footwork but i don't really feel like we need to use it right now we can continue popping him with the jab as he comes forward. We can circle towards his circle towards his lead hand. If we can circle towards his lead hand and uh, get him to throw and then follow with our cross, we'll be able to do damage on him. Boom. Right there. Jab. Cut him with another jab. Now we're going to circle out. Okay. And uh, right there was an opportunity for me to use the loose footwork because he's just being aggressive walking forward. Okay, now we're gonna go loose footwork, and we're really gonna gonna work from the outside. Okay, there we go. We again we circle towards away from that power hand, and we hit him with uh, a nice uh, cross. Okay, attack the body. Again, he's throwing power. Just pumping the jab out there consistently. Give him a jab to work with. Boom. I pull counter. There we go. Nice jab. We're going to go ahead and circle out. There we go. Again, play boxing against these guys. Okay. I just got rocked by, I believe, a jab. A ghost. I don't know if it was a ghost punch or it was a jab, but it's okay. These rocks happen. These rocks do happen. But I don't believe this guy has the ability to finish me. Because he doesn't really know what he's doing. It doesn't seem. All he knows how to do is throw jab cross. Still in loose footwork. He is. Um, okay. Nice counter. Oh, I get rocked by this jab again. Okay. And it's okay. Like I said, these two rocks. That just tells me I need to be sharper on defense. I need to watch out because usually he's rocking me after I throw my shot. Like he's throw his, I throw my counter, and then he throws that jab and he rocks me. Okay, so we're down right now two to one on this judge's scorecards. Nice, we land some good counter shots. Let's go loose footwork, circle out. Boom. Pull cross. Now I'm gonna I'm gonna follow him. He walks completely backwards. We're gonna cut him off here. Cut him off here. There we go. There we go. There we go. Now that's work. That's work. Here we go. But notice how I didn't rush when I rocked him. You just land clean shots. You don't have to throw combinations. You just land clean shots. There we go. He's probably hurting for stamina. There we go. He's probably hurting for stamina. So I want to attack the body. There we go. There he goes. And every every jab he's throwing is a power jab. I don't I'm not really one to throw a lot of power punches. As you can see here, he throws a power jab there and rocks me. <clears throat> he's not gonna be able to drop me though. He doesn't know how to cut me off. See right there? There we go. There we go. Let's go loose footwork. Let's go loose footwork. We definitely need to be throwing angled punches to get off the center line of him throwing one twos. We're going to definitely be looking to throw angle punches. There we go. See right there how I stepped off on an angle and threw that hook? We're going to have to do that a lot against this guy because most of his strikes are coming jab cross down the center line. So if we can get off the center line and throw our, our own counter shot, we'll be good. But I'm going to throw the rear because I don't want to lean... I don't want to lean or I don't want to punch towards his rear hand. There we go. Okay. I'm going to circle out. Yeah, that power jab is something vicious. 
Oh, I just got rocked by a ghost punch. That that punch definitely rocked me and wasn't supposed to. Okay. There we go. We rock him now. Right? We're not going to go crazy. Just going to walk him down a little bit. Go to the body. Uh, he just rocked me. Why he was rocked. Okay. Even when you're rocked, you're still dangerous. So just keep that in mind. Okay. Ooh, that, that cross, man. That power cross is a mug. That power cross is a mug. There we go. We catch him here. Go to the body. He's sitting still. He's pulling back for some reason. Attack the body. Attack the body. Again. Work. Work from the outside. Let's go loose footwork again. Yeah. Against this guy. Against this guy, you definitely you definitely can't sit on the center line because everything he's throwing is coming like this. Straight down the straight down the pipe. Straight down the pipe. He's throwing no really hooks. He, all he's throwing is straight punches. See right there? Let's go. Back to loose footwork. There goes that power gym jab. And I feel this is a, kind of an issue in the game. Everyone just throws power. There we go. Throw body shot because he's leaning backwards. See right there. I just got to play. I got to play from the outside. Right outside his jab range. That's where I want to play it. Attack the body. Okay. Utilize our feints. Get him to think we're going to throw. Okay. Let's get outside the jab range. We hit him with a nice counter here. So you can see right there, he's all he's doing is throwing power. All he's doing is throwing power. That's all he's doing. Work. Attack the body. I missed that one. Okay. And this guy is playing a little bit better than he was earlier with this with him just spamming a lot of punches. Okay. Nice jab. Nice jab. Okay. See if we can catch him with something at the end. Okay, good round. Let's see. Where we at? Okay, we're down one round, 58 to 57. We got to get us a nice little knockdown or something. Or get rocked. <laughs> or get rocked. Okay. There we go. Nice. Attack the body. Nice. Kind of curious on what his stamina is at. Mine's is still good, though. Nice counter shot. Yeah, he's gas. He's gas. There we go with the body drop. Again, you don't want to rush. Look at his health right there. His health is bad. His health is not good. But that's a knockdown. He got up on nine. I thought he was done right there. So now, counter shots are going to get this dude up out of there. Counter shots are going to get this dude up out of there. But notice how I'm patient. I'm patient. 
I'm patient. Yeah, we got rocked a few times. Multiple times. Well, now... Now, his health doesn't look good. His stamina probably doesn't look good. And we're going to basically get off what we want to get off. We're going to attack the body here. This is when I can start opening up and really getting to work against this guy. But will I need to do that? Not really. Because the opportunity is, is going to be there all day. I'm going to attack his body. He's blocking low now. Go to the body. He goes another power jab. Okay. So we're going to walk away from that power jab. We get the drop in this round. We rock him again to the body. Yeah. It, it's not looking good for my mans here. I think we can definitely look to get a rock again in the next round. And this is just me playing proper boxing against this guy. Even if he's using Nigel Ben. He's kind of being a, you know, a bit spammy with the one-twos. But he got to be careful because a good counter shot... A good counter shot, and my dude is in the dirt. My dude is in the dirt from a good counter shot. There you go. He goes crazy again. There we go. We know he ain't got good stamina. There we go. Let's work. Let's work. Nice body shot. We rock him. Now, we're going to walk him down. Nice body shot. We drop him. This is how you, this is how you properly box in Undisputed, man. He's out. He's out. Just like that. Just like that. He is out. Clean, proper boxing. While we know we had our struggles early, we was getting rocked, but the opportunities presented themselves and we took advantage of it. The opportunities presented themselves later on into the fight and we took advantage of it and we went to work. And you can see here, um, it was really close. Two judges actually had me up going into the eighth. And uh, one judge had to tie, but I mean... That last round was going to be a 10-8 because I knocked him down, I believe, twice. So we can go ahead and go through the punch totals for each round, and then we'll go ahead and get up out of here. So um, you can see here, overall, he threw 570 and landed 169 with 30% landed. I threw 401 and landed 176 with 44%. Now, he landed a lot of jabs. Again, as I said, he was throwing a lot of power punches. I mean, look at that. <clears throat> look at that. He threw 415 power punches. Basically, every strike that he threw was damn near a power punch. I mean, besides like 150. Well, actually 145. Actually 155, I'm sorry. Because <clears throat> 55 plus 15 is 70. So, we go to round one, right? He outlanded me here. He was throwing a lot of jabs. Again, that power jab, he was pumping it out there. We give him that round two. Okay. I mean, I would say I won round two. I landed six counters. He landed, I believe the thing is, was the power punches. But, I mean, it was basically just jabs and crosses with the power punches. And he landed, okay, round three. I landed 40% of my shots. He landed 27. He landed 27, 26 shots overall, though. Um, again, 15 power punches. And I um, threw zero. And then round four, you can see... I landed five counters. He landed three. He Overall, he landed 29 punches, and I landed 25. Okay. And then round five when it was 19 to 19. I had six counters, though, uh, and he had 13 power punches. I only had two, but he threw 45 of them. Then round six, Um, you can see I landed 31. He landed 23. We was actually going to work. We landed four counters. Landed up. We got two. And uh, you see he landed 21 power punches. But again, most of those was jabs. You see he only land he landed 15 punches with the jab. And most of those were power jabs. Then round seven, he only landed eight punches. And uh, I landed 20. So definitely took that round. Uh, overall, he did land more power punches. Then we go to round eight, which was the final round. And where I finished him at. And you can see he landed nine shots. I landed 18 I landed some good shots to his body, some good counters, which was two. And uh, we got him up out of there. So all in all, this is a very clean fight. 
And I honestly think you guys could learn a lot from this one. And if you do, be sure to hit the like button, subscribe up, and turn on notifications. And uh, you guys enjoy the rest of your day. See you.